Philippine jade artifacts made from white and green nephrite and dating as far back as 2000 to 1500 BC, has been discovered at a number of archaeological excavations in the Philippines since the 1930s. The artifacts have been both tools like chisels, and ornaments such as lingling o earrings, bracelets and beads. Tens of thousands of exquisitely crafted jade artifacts found at a site in Batangas province have led Schlers to conclude that the Philippines had a significant jade culture, the archipelago's metal age. History Nephrite, otherwise known as jade, is a mineral widely used throughout Asia as ornaments or for decorative purposes. The oldest jade artifacts in Asia, 6000 BC, were found in China where they were used as the primary hairstone of Chinese sculpturing. In 3000 BC, jade production in the Hongshan and Liangzhu cultures of China reached its peak. During this period, the knowledge of jade craftsmanship spread across the sea to Taiwan and eventually to the Philippines. The artifacts discovered in several sites in the Philippines were made from nephrite. Nephrite excavated in the Philippines were of two types, white nephrite and green nephrite. Imported jade from Taiwan sparked artistic and technological innovations during the first millennium AD, in the Philippines. The jade trade between the two countries lasted for at least 2,000 years, from 500 BC to 1000 AD. Eventually, native Filipino artisans added a great amount of styles and techniques to the international jade industry. These skills and styles reached other parts of the world such as New Zealand. Nephrite jade artifacts in the Philippines Excavations in the Philippines have yielded an extensive amount of nephrite artifacts. The first were discovered during the 1930s and 1940s, through the work of H. Otley Bayer. His excavations at sites in the Rizal, Quezon, Batangas, Bulacan and Laguna provinces have yielded thousands of white nephrite chisels and adzes. Most of these artifacts are kept in the National Museum of Anthropology in Manila. During the 1960s and 1970s, excavations made by Robert Fox at the Taban Caves complex in northern Palawan and other nearby sites uncovered about 350 green nephrite ornaments including lingling o, or omega-shaped, earrings, bracelets and beads. More sites that yielded nephrite artifacts have been excavated since then. White nephrite artifacts were discovered at several sites including Baja and Ulailing Bundok in Calatagan, Il Rock Shelter in northern Palawan and the Siargo Island in Surigao del Norte. Green nephrite artifacts were also uncovered at sites in Cagayan Valley, Cagayan, Isabela, Batangas, Masbate Island, Sorsogon and central Palawan. In 2004, an Anaro nephrite workshop was discovered by Peter Bellwood in Eusebio Dizan at Itbayat Island in Batanes. Several green nephrite artifacts such as adzes, ornaments and fragments were found at the Anaro workshop, as well as sites on the neighboring islands of Sunget and Savidug. The site is believed to be where nephrite tools and ornaments were manufactured, hence the name. Origin of nephrite artifacts The oldest green nephrite artifact is a pair of bracelets recovered from the base of Nigsaburan in the Cagayan Valley. The mineral composition of these artifacts are consistent with that of Fengtian nephrite and have been dated to be around 3,500 to 4,000 years old. The out of Taiwan theory suggests that Austronesian speaking people from South China started to migrate to the Philippines in 2000 BC. The first wave of migrants may have landed in the main island of Luzon or Batanes. Although it is not known whether nephrite was brought here by the settlers initially or was introduced through trade between the northern Philippines and Taiwan an increase in nephrite trade between the two occurred sometime around 1000 BC. It is certain however that nephrite trade ceased and the reworking and reusing of nephrite tools have led to later artifacts being smaller. Lingling o ear ornaments with lotus bud projections were used between 300 BC and 100 AD. They were distinct in such a way that it was designed to appeal to southern markets. It reached Palawan, southern Vietnam and the Niya Caves of Sarawak, East Malaysia. Similar Ling Ling O that has not been tested for origin yet, were also found in Thailand and Cambodia. These were presumably of Philippine manufacture although the jade came from Taiwan. This is evidenced by the fact that the people from southern Vietnam and Filipinos are speakers of Austronesian languages. 
Both were also part of a huge trade network when Southeast Asia traded with countries surrounding the Mediterranean Sea, India and southern China about 2,000 years ago. Mineralogical analysis Nephrite is a rare mineral in that it is formed under unique geological conditions. There are only 120 known deposits of nephrite in the world. The two types of nephrite uncovered in the Philippines have been analyzed to determine the deposit from where they originated. Green nephrite is described as being translucent green with black inclusions. Analysis of the green nephrite artifacts in the Philippines has shown that it is composed of tremolite actinolite amphiboles with zinc bearing chromite inclusions, characteristic of Fengtian nephrite, whose major deposits are found in Fengtian, Taiwan. The only exception is a green ads fragment found in the Tinicad Cave in Occidental Mindoro, the source of which remains unknown. White nephrite is milky in appearance and may have reddish brown, black, or green bands. Its composition is of tremolitic amphibole. The raw material used has a higher oxygen isotope ratio than all other sources of white nephrite in East Asia. This has led archaeologists to believe that the white nephrite artifacts are from local deposit in the Philippines. Unfortunately, the location of this deposit has not yet been discovered. See also Neolithic Iron Age Liangzhu culture, a Neolithic culture emerged in China. Sa Win culture, an Iron Age culture emerged in South Vietnam and Philippines. References